Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Caitlin, and today we are continuing the 100 dragon challenge. So for today's challenge, I kind of wanted an easier dragon this week, I guess, quote unquote, easier, um, because I just wanted to kind of get back into the swing of making videos after a week off. Um, so I decided to do an origami dragon. I thought this was such a great idea. Thank you for suggesting it. And I just thought this would be a really fun and uh, I, I guess you could say simple, but not simple dragon. Um, first of all, I started off with uh, doing some brainstorming. I did uh, research a couple of actual paper origami dragons. Like I needed to see how they actually folded uh, so I could base mine off of real folded dragons. I think it in, in the end, I don't even know if mine would technically be foldable because I combined so many aspects of a lot of other origami dragons, so it wasn't like, here, you know, follow this pattern and you'll get the same dragon that I drew. It was like, no, I like this part from this dragon and this part from this dragon. Let's combine that. So I don't know if mine would technically be foldable, but you know, who knows? Anyway, I started off by doing that research, trying to figure out kind of what I wanted to do with this one, and I just thought this was going to be so fun and whimsical. It's just such a different type of dragon for me. Um, very much like simplified shapes because, you know, it's big folds of paper. And I was really excited to try this out because it's just it's something that I'm not used to. I guess doing something more light and whimsical and playful and kind of childish, I was really excited for. It's giving me um, ice cream dragon vibes in terms of like something I'm not used to doing. Um, but, you know, really excited to try and just more like kiddish and childish and playful and fun. And uh, I was just excited to do this one. So after I figured out my rough look, it was time to jump in and do the final drawing. So one thing I noticed also while I was editing, I apologize for my uh, camera. For some reason, it was really going crazy on the um, auto color balance, it went like nuts. And I'm like, I don't know what happened here, but <laughs> there's a lot of like the outsides getting lighter and darker in my video. So I'm gonna look into that for my camera. Um, but I had this really cute idea with this dragon that I wanted to keep everything paper, but I wanted it to still look like an interesting, cool dragon doing something, I guess you could say. So I kind of figured out my pose, which would be a little bit more simple since I really was going for a straight up origami dragon. And then I was thinking, how cute would it be if it was like breathing fire, but the fire was paper fire. And I just thought that was such a cute and fun idea. So I had to do it. I was like, all right, we're 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 doing this. I don't know how you would actually fold fire origami wise, but I really liked the interesting pattern and look that I got from the fire that I drew. I just really loved it. Another aspect that I add to the dragon is the plating along the back and the sides. Um, the ones on the arms I noticed on one of the dragons that I Googled for origami dragons, I thought that was super cool and I had to just use it for sure. And then these back plates reminded me of, did anyone else do this or was I alone in this? I feel it was like very much a uh, uh, maybe early 2000s thing late 2000s, I don't know, one of those. Anyway, I know in middle school, um, we all really got, well, middle school and high school. Um, high school, I did a lot of like origami shooting or uh, throwing stars that I would like sell to kids for like 25 cents. Hey, that was a good way to make some money for me back then. That bought me a lot of like cookies and drinks and such at my high school cafeteria. Um, but then in middle school, my friend would make these claws and these claws were made out of like different segments of uh, paper all put together. That kind of is what reminded me of these back spines. They're like little curved uh, spines of paper that all just get placed on the dragon. But I mean, if this thing actually moved, like if it was a real folded dragon, those would probably fall off. But you know, whatever. I thought they were like a cool, fun aspect. But I was just wondering if you guys had ever experienced those like paper claws. I know I had a few of them that I just wore to the point that the paper was just like falling apart. I loved them. I was, I was such a, I was such a nerd. I mean, I'm still a nerd, but I was very much like, ooh, I have cool dragon talons, nerd. Well, I mean, I just talked through all of the coloring phase, but I was going for a more, uh, I guess, cool toned dragon. I noticed a lot of them that were online were in the reds and the greens, 
uh, just from a quick Google search. And I was like, you know, I think this would be really pretty as like more of a teal colored paper dragon. And then it would help the fire like really stand out next to it, just having this more cool tone dragon and then having these really bright paper folds next to it. I really wish I was better at um, these more complex origami shapes. I did do, when I was in high school, I traveled to Japan for the first time um, as a junior, and it was a uh, student ambassador program. Basically, it was like a foreign exchange student program. I didn't go for very long. I was there for two weeks, um, and it was it was really fun, uh, but leading up to it, my my team that I went with, we all had to fold cranes since we were going to the Hiroshima Memorial. Um, we had to go through and fold the thousand cranes that we wanted to take. So it's funny because, uh, <laughs> I mean, if they heard this now, I don't think they'd care, but some of my team members hated it. And so they ended up paying me, <laughs> again, me making money as a high schooler, uh, they ended up paying me to fold all of their origami cranes. So I can, I can fold a crane like no one's business. And then I don't think I can fold those origami stars anymore, like the throwing stars. I have completely forgot how to do that. Um, and then back in high school, I was able to fold the dragons because dragons, the one that I knew started from like the crane base. And then you did a couple different things to make it different. So I like kind of knew what I was doing. Um, but yeah, I kind of wish I was a little better at origami. I mean, there's so many things you can make with it. Like I have some friends that make these really cute little stars and then they put them in jars and they're super cute or like little boxes you can hold stuff in. I don't know. There's so much you can do and it's just such a fun medium. Maybe I'll take some time sometime in the future and like maybe experiment with origami. I got these really cute origami papers uh, when I was in Japan and I was thinking about doing this interesting thing where, well, I mean, interesting for me, cause I don't really do it, but uh, drawing some of my original characters and putting like more modern shirts on them and making the patterns of the shirts, the origami paper. I'd love to know what you guys think of that. Cause that's been on my back burner of things I'd like to do. Um, or I could actually use it as origami paper and fold origami. But I was like, no, nah, you know, that would be kind of fun to do like a texturing thing. It's kind of like a Casey Golden. She does uh, the washi tape drawing things where she combines her art with different patterned washi tape. And I really like those. So I'm just curious what you guys were thinking. If, if that sounds interesting, if you'd like me to draw my characters in like cute modern clothes, like I could do that. Um, uh, fashion challenge, I guess. Like I've been seeing people to like send me six outfits to put my OC in. I think those would be pretty cool. I'll leave a poll here as well, but I'd love if you left a comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see that because now that I'm changing my upload schedule, I will be working on my comic a bit more and a couple of my side projects a bit more. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think because I love my OCs and they haven't really gotten a lot of attention on this channel, let alone on social media recently. And uh, I'd love to draw, like jump in and draw them again and put them in really cute patterned clothes and stuff. So we're reaching the end of the drawing. I just hit it real quick with a couple highlights there with my gel pen and we're all done. I think this is so cute. And this was a really nice one to kind of break back into the dragon challenge. I really fell out of it because I was just, I needed to stop because of that impending burnout. But this was a good one to start with again. But anyway, let's look at last week's War Dragon. So first off, Charjonir, I probably butchered your username. I really like the rendering you did on that armor on the head. I think that looks really great. And overall, I think this is a really interesting piece, like having the warriors and like one mourning over the other and the other dead dragons. I, I really liked that. It was really cool. Scorching Shadow, I really love how this one turned out. I thought your uh, Four Horsemen dragons in general were really cool, just basing each one off of like different societies and cultures. Really awesome concept, and I think this guy looks super dope, and I love the, the war element, at, or the war elephant element, <laughs> there we go, that you added to it. Duck Theorist, I think this one is really cool. I like the armor that you did. It, it's like a really interesting, it reminds me kind of like bones, but also like for me, it reminds me of um, BMX racing armor, kind of. That's just, that's just me. But I think it looks really cool and I love your three-headed dragon design, super cool. 
And all of you did great. I really loved all your dragons. It was cool coming back and seeing more awesome war dragons. So if you guys would like to participate in this week's 100 dragons and post an origami dragon, make sure to post it on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag KM100Dragons. And you guys have a little bit more time. I've changed my upload schedule, so we're only doing every Friday. Um, so it, there won't be a dragon next week, but the week after. Anyway, thanks again so much for stopping by, guys, and please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, everybody.